our Q&A weekly webinar, everybody. <clears throat> We're going to get started here in just a minute. But before we do, if I can just get a confirmation from somebody that both audio and video connections are A-OK, -okay, and then we can get started. I, I'd appreciate that. You can just type here in the chat box, um, audio and video are OK. Uh, Paul is saying OK. Alex, Clark, Dave, William, Mike, Dean. Um, thank you guys for confirmations and welcome everybody to the Wool Player Q&A weekly webinar session where we aim to answer any questions that you as users may have, also to provide training on any advanced features or use cases of video in your business, also to showcase new stuff that we've been working on as well as to uh, gather feedback, ideas, uh, constructive criticisms on how we can keep improving Wool Player. Uh, my name is Peter. I am uh, Wool Player's product manager, and um, good to know. If you are are not able to attend one of these webinars, uh, replays are available both on our YouTube channel, YouTube.c/WoolPlayer, as well as the uh, Facebook group, which is, I believe. Facebook slash groups slash full player. I'll just paste that in there as well. So if you are not able to attend one of these webinar sessions, replays are going to be posted there in the following day. So uh, you can review them at that time. Uh, the format of the webinar is pretty straightforward. So at any time that you have a question or if you came prepared with any questions, you can just drop them in the chat box at any time that you like. If you came prepared with some questions, now will be a good time to do so. And we'll just answer them in the order that they come in. Um, what else did I forget about housekeeping notes? Yeah, also if you're not uh, not able to attend one of the webinars but would like to have a question answered during the webinar, you can just uh, contact us as always at support at or via live chat or whatever means you have to contact us. So uh, I think that's housekeeping out of the way. Um, I didn't have, I don't have any announcements for today's week with regards to sort of uh, new stuff that we've been working on. Uh, a couple of things that I would just like to point out, as, as I mentioned, throughout the last few weeks, we are putting together a roadmap for 2019 and uh, what the enhancements are going to be uh, inside of Vool Player. So by the end of the week, you can expect the uh, good old Vool Player portal, which is now pretty pretty empty um, to start being populated with what's going to be on the roadmap for for 2019 and as, as I mentioned there's a lot of things in there um, ranging from commerce integrations and sort of shoppable experiences within videos to extended integrations and connections of uh, funnels to integrations so you can have answers tagged in, in CRMs as well as a complete rework of all funnels altogether. So a bunch of a bunch of neat stuff uh, coming up in 2019 and uh, we're just about wrapping up the that roadmap. Uh, in the meantime, everything that, that we are focusing on is, is performance, 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 uh, both with regards to optimizing the performance of, of the infrastructure as well as the performance of code, as well as optimizing the weight of the player, et cetera, et cetera. So a uh, big cleanup effort towards the end of the year. So that's that's just a couple of things that I, I wanted to turn your attention to. I can see that that some uh, questions already started piling in. So I'll, I'll just um, uh, go through them. So let's see. Uh, you lack you won't lack any questions today. Excellent. Looking forward to that. Keeping in mind that we are on a schedule, so we have, we do have a limited amount of time that we can answer the questions in but I'll, I'll do my best to answer them uh, thoroughly as well as uh, effectively. So how to turn off the click for sound button. Um, there is no way, uh, so Clark is asking how to turn off the click for sound button. So there is no way to turn off the click for sound button in certain scenarios. So um, uh, what I'll refer you to Clark is, so here's a documentation article which kind of neatly lays this out. Uh, if I remember what it was called, videos are muted, maybe. Uh, autoplay videos are muted. 
Um, so, so this is one of them. So how to play video as are muted. So due to new policy restrictions in the latest browser versions, almost every automatically played video will be muted regardless of the settings in Woo Player. So what that, that in turn means is that if you do have an auto playing video, uh, it needs to be muted. And if you have it muted, uh, then you need a way to unmute it. Thus, you have the click for sound option. So. If, if your question is strictly how do I turn off the uh, button which is visible for click for sound. So for example, a scenario in which this might be useful is if you don't have any audio at all in your, in your video, uh, then I think we've hidden uh, this in, in beta features. And here's, here, there's an option which says hide unmute button. And you can use that, and that way the, the click for sound button is never going to show up. However, your viewers will not have the, that indication that there is audio playing, but you can't um, unmute it there. You could still unmute it. Um, what, what they'll see, actually, is an icon like this in the toolbar, and they could use that to unmute the video if there's sound if you've hidden the unmute button. So um, to just recap, uh, the reason why that click for sound uh, button is showing up is due to uh, browser policy changes. Uh, you can hide it if you want to in certain scenarios, and this is uh, entirely up to you, and this is under uh, beta features. So show beta features and then click on beta features and then hide on new button, and that will hide that button from showing up. And then the only way for viewers to unmute the video, if you do want them to unmute the video, is via the, the toolbar icon, which is there. So hopefully that answers that question. Let me just scroll down a little bit just to see if Clark um, followed up with something. Turn off autoplay, and it's still muted. Why? Uh, it did not work. Uh, I tried that. All right, cool. Well, um, you can just contact us at support at .com and then we can uh, troubleshoot that in detail from, from there. Uh, just provide us with with the link of that page, the link of the page on which that is happening, and then we can uh, look at resolving that for you and troubleshooting it. Won't necessarily like to uh, take away time from from the webinar uh, to to troubleshoot in the, and debug individual issues, but I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it. So Dave is saying, great, I like this weekly. I have to go to the meeting soon, though. All right, so that's probably referring to the uh, replays. Uh, Clark is also saying. Uh, Pre-roll and post-roll not working, getting stuck. Um, uh, what is coming uh, in the new year? Anything new? Answer to that, Dave. Um, the um, Just in answer to Dave's question. Sorry, uh, Clark was first. So, Clark, same same, same issue with regards to the, uh, as, as with the uh, mute button. Uh, if, if you have videos which are not working or experiencing issues with them for whatever reason, uh, the webinar is not necessarily the right forum to, to address them. So we do have active support and live chat channels through which you are more than welcome to uh, raise your issues and we'll, we'll gladly assist you there. Uh, Dave is asking what is coming up in new year, anything new? Yes, as, as I mentioned, uh, integrations with commerce as well as sort of access management towards videos. So we're without committing to anything too much. So one, one of the things that, that we talked about throughout 2000 and and 17 was, let me just pull up this, was sort of access code management. Uh, let me bring this up. So submit and vote on ideas portal. And in there, quite a few votes were given to video code, video access code management. And so this would allow users to create access tokens uh, tokens to one or more videos or uh, en masse and set expiration days on, on those tokens and have tokens for uh, different sets of videos. And now we're, that we're considering commerce, we're also thinking about making those to uh, tokens, quote unquote, uh, purchasable, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot going on there with uh, how we can uh, better manage access to videos 
and help you uh, sell access to those videos as well as sell other products from your videos. So there's a lot of going around around, around commerce. And as I said, a lot of improvements coming towards uh, to, to funnels and uh, ease of use with them and, and sort of better management of funnels and better functionality of funnels altogether. So the, those are some of the uh, big item changes, of course, as I mentioned, with uh, that those updates, the expansion of, of all of the third-party integration towards funnels, etc. Um, all righty. Um, Alex is saying, I can't see player videos uh, examples anywhere. Where can I see use cases? I'm interested in seeing subtitles in actions and also performance differences regarding CDN, CDN among others, uh, unless you can show some now. Uh, I'll just refer you to, so if you come over here to the documentation, I'll send you the link, la, 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 use case examples. So I'll just send you over a link to this category. And here you are, Alex. So here you have different examples of uh, video contests, my site, regular versus turbo bandwidth, playlists, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think there's necessarily a, an active working example for each single uh, imaginable feature. So if, if you would like to see a demo of, of subtitles, I don't know why not just not, not, nothing necessarily stopping you from from creating one. So you're, you're more than welcome. Uh, to do that, or if you want, um, if you really insist, I can I can upload some subtitles. I I can probably find some. I don't know, example subtitles, English. I don't know, VT team. Or maybe just grab this. Uh, see if I can just find a good example. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe on another page. Uh, subtitling of FTT. <laughs> I can't find an example anywhere online of a video working with subtitles so that I can snatch them up. Uh, maybe the first one. Sample English subtitles. Yeah. Yay. All right. Let me just grab that. So, so Alex, if, if you do insist, I'll... Uh, Upload that to a video so that we can see it in action. Um, all righty. Uh, so that's Alex. Got the use cases category. Um, all righty. Video is not playing at the same time. Video is playing at the same time is not good. So that's probably uh, in reference. So that's Clark. Clark brings up a good point, which is something that that we released not too long ago, but haven't I think even made available in the documentation yet. Let me just uh, what would I search that as uh, playing at the same time? Uh, play only one video on page. So that might be of reference. So if, for example, you have a page with two or more bull player videos embedded on it, and then a user could play one and then scroll down the page, and then they can play the second one, uh, and then both of the videos will continue playing automatically. Um, you can in, just embed, uh, just add this little script to anywhere on your page, and that's going to ensure that only one video is is playing at a time. It's going to post that link uh, for for future uh, reference. Um, alrighty, uh, let's see where was I. Uh, video is playing at the same time. Not good. Mike is saying I am being bombarded. I am being bombarded with video personalization by new suppliers. Um, I know you have a couple of videos in the learning area, but can you sell me on what Vue Player does again? Uh, with regards to personalization, so <laughs> there's a lot going on there. So um, you know you have a couple of videos in the learning area, but can you sell me again? Uh, I'll pull up the learning area just just as sort of a slide slash tool in in my sales pitch of. Personalization. Slide videos. That's what we're calling it, right? So there I mean there there's a couple of high level use cases and 
without kind of understanding yours, it's it's kind of hard to to pitch you this idea. But just just to cover some use cases. So, for example, you can have uh, users or let's say employees onboarding to your company and you want to show them a training video with regards to sort of here's the office policies and here's what you should be doing and not be doing. And then you can welcome them to a message or you can welcome anybody to any video with a personalized message uh, using the personalized video. So uh, here I have an integration with my CRM, uh, which is Intercom. And there uh, I have just, pass forwarded Bill's ID from, from Intercom, and then that pulled in his name, he, it pulled out, it pulled in his company, it pulled in his image, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so this gives you a connection between what you're showing to the viewer, as well as all of the data which you have available inside of your CRM. So that's one side of personalization, which on its own is pretty amazing because then you have uh, significantly higher engagement on the viewers and because they're watching the video they're seeing their own data they're seeing their own picture and they're much more likely to to remain engaged with that video if if it's talking directly to them um, so that's the obvious reason of course and then you can extrapolate that on to many many different use cases such as hey if inside of my CRM I have uh users preference for the type of sneakers that they like i can send them a personalized link to a shopping page where they can uh, get a coupon for whatever etc cetera, etc cetera. so you can use this in in many different ways uh main benefit of which is showing personalized content and and taking personalized actions from the video if you want to customize or personalize rather the links uh, within the videos so that's one thing the second thing which is great about uh personalization is that uh we will feed back their activity to the crm so here we'll see that after bill has watched the video We'll connect again. So here, this this is a pretty good example. So here on the right hand side, we have that CRM from which we pulled in all of that data, and then we fed back all the Bill's viewing uh, data back to the CRM. So we can see that Bill has watched the video ID, uh, video name, and the percent watched of of Bill's experience. So that's the the second sort of indirect benefit of that is that within your CRM, now you have all of that data available for your contact and you can further automate uh, actions on that. So if in, in this, if inside of the CRM you wanted to say, hey, for the, uh, give me all of the contacts who have, I don't know, watch 50% 50, 50 or more of uh, the welcome to our office integration video and those who have not watched more than 50%, you can send them a reminder to continue watching, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh that's I, I, I as much time as i would like to a lot for 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 that question um clark cotton is saying please focus on questions i'm doing my best clark is the website you send an example i can't access it um turn off autoplay and it's still muted uh we did get to that you cannot go to full screen on a video placed on a frame redirect site um Alex is saying yes, I tried that, but it's not really, uh, not really real use cases, and I couldn't see any subs anywhere. So all right, so I, that sounds like Alex is insisting on us uh, uploading um, a subtitle. So here I'll come to this video. Uh, let me just think if I'm using this for anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can just do it uh, regardless and then just delete them afterwards. So I'll come over here to subtitles and captions and I'll choose. I want to select a language. I'll add an English subtitles here and I'll just upload that file, which uh, uh, I think I downloaded to my desktop. Not sure where I download uh, sample sample English. Uh, this this actually saved as a text file. That's a no no. So let me just. I think this should work. I don't know if it has the right file type on it, but let's just hope it does. So it's saved as as an English language, and I can even set it as as a default if I want. So now, as you can see here, we have the uh, English subtitles available. So one of the reasons we could have for 
those uh, not showing is because the first the first uh, subtitle is going to start at second 15, but my video only lasts for uh, five seconds. <laughs> so <laughs> let me let me try and and find uh, a different uh video so one of the tricky thing about subtitles as you know is that they would only work on um uploaded videos and it looks like i don't have that many of them most of my videos are are hosted on oh here we have some excellent what joy actually actually now that i'm thinking about it i think this video might have subtitles on it already uh if i didn't now i have to go back through it um where did I, I think there was this one maybe not maybe i'm mistaken uh yeah i think this one already has subtitles on it so let's just check so there we go so uh, you can't hear the audio because uh, I'm, I'm wearing uh, my headset but it's saying hey i'm bill from wool player uh, and what's the first thing that I should absolutely use when I first start using your app, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what the subtitles will look like. Uh, uh, actually, let me just, oops. Let me, why is it doing that? I'm not clicking. All right, let me just save those so you can see what they actually look like in, in the actual video. So here, if I play this, uh, you can see that the subtitles are um uh below the player settings so if you want you can even manipulate the the caption settings to to do what whatever you want you can resize them you can color them you can um, change them however you like so uh, there's a lot that you can do with subtitles if if for whatever reason you have a use case and i think to to alex's po to, to same point as for for clark alex if you really want to troubleshoot something or see how something is is working uh, just i think it, it will be much more apt to do that through support channels rather than through the webinar to because it's going to take me time to find those subtitles and then upload them and find the video appropriate for them and then figure out what you want that's not best uh uh an optimal way to do that on 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 a webinar call maybe better to do that through through the support channel as well um clark is saying in a sub account white label the client can find vu player if all of the buttons show to uh, it, it's a video with the pre-roll uh, clarification on the, on the sub account issue. Not necessarily sure I understood that. William is saying, what's your take on ranking the most clicked pre-roll video up a uh, specific playlist? Do, 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 do. Niche playlist to be specific. I'm getting that. I'm, uh, I see what you're saying, William. So... <laughs> we're not tracking that data anywhere as far as with regards to uh and and that's one of the things i think maybe somebody brought brought up uh, a month or two ago and i think you might have actually brought it up is tracking the interactions with pre and post roll videos as well as sort of tracking the interactions and the uh, performances of playlists so um unfortunately that's that's not something that we're getting a lot of requests for for getting that type of data and it would be great to have it collected and sorted and be able to uh, uh, manipulate it down down the road uh, but currently we don't have that data so we're not available to do much with it but in theory to answer your questions i, I think it will be great to uh have some sort of uh that that's not even um AI, that's just a ranking system. Uh, if you, you described it perfectly well, is to have the people who was, to have the videos which are most clicked to be uh, ranked up. I, I think I think that makes sense. Um, um, let me actually, I'll, I'll I'll just make a feedback point out of that, uh, just so I don't forget, so we can sort it out uh, later on. Uh, All righty. Um, Clark, how do you get leads into active campaign? Where do gated leads go? Uh, to the connected, uh, if I remember the ad, uh, the active campaign integration correctly, uh, to the uh, list, I think, is an active campaign. I, I'm just 
try, trying to figure out for for one of the other responders I know there's a difference between um, uh, lists and forms and campaigns etc cetera, etc cetera. for active campaign I think it's in in whichever list you selected when you were connecting the integration so um, one of the one of the uh, mistakes which people usually do is when they uh, create a so they go to uh, uh, integrations and APIs and they provide their API key and they create their integration and they think wow that's great that's all I need to do from now on uh, all of my leads captured are going to go to that integration uh, that's incorrect so they're just just to make sure that they were on the same page here there's an additional step missing which is to when you're creating your uh, gated um, gate lock you need to connect that integration to and I don't think I don't have any on maybe I do on this account yeah I do so uh, then uh, when you're creating the gated content then you need to uh, create uh, connect the integration to that and that's going to give you the prompt there to select which list you want it to be saved to and that's where they will be sent so hopefully that answers that question as well all righty uh, let's see what else do we have um, Alex is saying that's it. My subs don't show up like this. Just an ugly left position text without any format. Oh man, customization. This is what I was looking for. Thanks. Yes, I only needed an example video as you have for other stuff, just like you did showing customization and such. Yeah, absolutely. So if if you don't, I can't show any setting. I I can't show any settings menu for subs. Does that work only for a certain type of subs? I'm using a VTT file. I don't need to troubleshoot just to know if there's something I don't know about subs. I'm I'm really I'm really sort of baffled by why you wouldn't have those those settings. So one of the things that we're also considering as well actually it, we identified it as as a additional enhancements is the ability to sort of when you're creating subtitles to have the ability to set up sort of the default style for the viewer to see so that's one of the things that we also want to do but that that never ended up getting any priority um, but I don't see any reason why you shouldn't have the settings on on the viewer side of things so um, let's 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 resolve that issue uh, if uh, yeah that absolutely just let's do it through support just be sure to provide us the 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 video and the VTT file on which you would like to uh, test that out at, and uh, we'll gladly figure out the best way uh, to get uh, your uh, desired uh, result achieved. All righty, cool. Um, uh, let's see if there did I skip through any questions? Did I miss anybody? If I did, I apologize. Again, uh, apologies uh, for being somewhat dismissive of of troubleshooting issues but if if we really started debugging issues on on the on the webinar each one of those can take up to a, a couple of hours so i don't think we would get past the first one if we started going down that road so i i thank you for your patience and understanding in in raising sort of technical issues and hey this seems not to be working for whatever reason, um, addressing those first uh, through support. That way, uh, we can resolve them in the most effective way possible. Sometimes I, I'm not the one who's resolving issues, so uh, sometimes we need to get uh, other people on the team involved uh, on that as well. So again, uh, apologies for maybe not answering all of your questions, uh, but um, I do promise that uh, we'll take care of them if you um, uh, get to us at uh, support evoplayer.com or either by um, the what was it uh, live chat feature uh, Clark is saying so answer them next week at the beginning uh, maybe we can try that we can see how that goes again there's no guarantee that the bug is going to be resolved by uh, next week, just to set the expectation correctly there, uh, or even that it is a bug, and then I necessarily don't want to address them. Uh, but either way, um, thank you for your patience and understanding uh, for keeping troubleshooting issues on the support channel. Um, um, all right, um, maybe we have um, time for one more question. If we don't have any, I'll um, thank you all for joining this week, and hopefully we'll see you next week as well um, as we continue improving Wool Player and um, 
answering your questions. Have a great week and see you next week. Bye.